What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys my go-to set quad workout at home. This is the main workout that I do throughout the week. I wanna say I work out three times a week, maybe four. If I'm feeling good, I'm gonna just show you guys how I get the intense focus on my quads. And I'm gonna show you guys my quads right now because the last time I showed you guys, I was on stick mode. So now I'm just gonna show you guys how they're looking. Okay, so these are the quads without me flexing anything. This is just the quads. But this is me flexing them and they look like really good. The quads look amazing. With that being said, I'm gonna show you guys my routine for how I've been growing these. Now I have been going to the gym, but I recently stopped and I've been seeing a lot more growth and focus on certain areas of my quads. The transition from the gym to working out at home was very difficult because I'm working out at the gym. I'm not doing what I do at home. I'm using the machines. So you're just sitting there and you're not using all of your body. When you're working out at home, you're using everything if you don't have equipment. So as far as gaining weight and muscle mass in my quads, I've been eating a lot more, but what's really been helping me is using creatine. So before I get into the creatine, I'm gonna just show you guys what I use for my pre-workout. I use the, the Six Star Pro Nutrition Pre-Workout Explosion by this brand. Doesn't matter which flavor you get, I like all things sour. And the creatine, I dry scoop my pre-workout, but my creatine and the BCAA, I mix it in water and I drink that throughout my workout. The BCAA is gonna help you have a boost of energy and it's gonna, it's gonna give you good mental focus when you're working out. And it's gonna help you recover faster when you are working out so you're not super duper sore. And then creatine. So I just started using this last week and I've already been able to see a difference in weight sticking to my legs. Yeah, this is really good for muscle mass and building muscle mass. You aren't supposed to just have this without working out because it's purposely targeted for working out to build your muscle and keep that muscle on your body. So let me just show you guys how I like to mix everything. I'm gonna go ahead and dry scoop my pre-workout. So now you normally I would have a bigger, like a regular water bottle, but we're out of water bottles right now. All right, now that we have our pre-workout in our systems and we have what we're gonna be taking throughout our workout, let's go into the garage and get this started. When I am doing any type of workout, mostly legs though, I'm in my Converse, because they're flat. Flat shoes are good for lifting. These shoes are a no-no. They're good for running though, just not lifting. Okay, so y'all just weren't gonna tell me that I was ashy, okay. Okay, that's cool. No, it, no, 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 it's it's cool, it's it's okay. You know, you don't, you don't wanna see me win, I get it. You know, just keep that same energy when it's time. Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. So let's just get into what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so what I like to do is start off with low squats and we're gonna do 12 of those. And you're gonna do it with your legs together. So you're gonna go down, try to keep your back as straight as possible. If not, that's completely fine. And it's okay if your knees kind of overlap your toes a little bit, it's completely fine. This workout is gonna target the front of your quads and your hamstrings. So you're using all of that energy to boost you back up. So the next thing we're gonna do is RDLs. These have become my favorite workout along with the, one of the other workouts that we're gonna be doing today. But RDLs are so effective for your hamstrings. Cannot stress this enough. My sister just recently taught me how to do these. At first I hated these, now they're one of my favorite workouts to do. And so basically it's gonna target your hamstrings so you're gonna come up using that hamstring muscle. Not your back, not your arms, just that hamstring muscle to come right back up. And we're gonna do that 12 times as well. And my favorite workout, curtsy squats. Like, oh my gosh, curtsy squats are so different. I love them, I love curtsy squats. They're so different and they're very effective. But this time we're gonna be doing them elevated. 
So, I try to keep my back as straight as possible. It's really hard to do that with these because you want to make sure that you're not hurting yourself. But just do whatever is comfortable for you. If your back isn't straight, that's completely fine. I still get a good workout with them and it still is very much effective. It's gonna be a little bit difficult if it's your first time doing curtsy squats. It took me like a couple days to get it right. And now I'm pretty much really good at it. Pretty much a pro. But we're gonna do those 12 times as well on each leg. And then we're gonna walk with the resistance band going back and forth from the garage, from both ends of the garage. I'm gonna go back, forth, and then back again, okay? Okay, cool. Next thing we're gonna do is quad stretches with the resistance band. So we can either do it like running, and then we can also do it sitting down and stretching out, and that's gonna target your glutes, the sides of your quads as well. Now before I work out recently, that scared the life out of me. One second. Now recently what I've been doing, <laughs> Please. Recently what I've been doing before my workouts is I like to stretch. I'm not a gymnast, I'm not a cheerleader. This is not one of my careers, this is not a sport for me. So I, I don't, I'm not a perfect stretcher. I don't know stretches like that. But I just do what can help me, you know, flex out my muscles before a intense workout. But yeah, what I like to do is just put on some relaxing music and just stretch however I feel is comfortable and just get me in the mood for a good workout. So, let's get it started. gloves because we do not want no calloused hands also guys I do have a workout playlist um, it's called legs boo if you go to my Apple music actually the link will be in the description it's a fire playlist like you will get the best workout with this playlist <sighs> period
live workout video hope you guys enjoyed this and you decided to try this routine yourself let me just show you the results of this routine a lot of muscle build in the teardrop areas they're looking really good look at that quad muscle yes clap it up for yourselves yeah yeah so after this workout i feel really really good I'm about to hop in the shower and just cleanse myself this is a good workout to do to start your day and this is also a good workout to do in the middle or in the end of your day either way you might be exhausted but the pre-workout will definitely help as well as your motivation itself but yeah after this workout i feel amazing i don't know if you guys saw but at the end i kind of powered through and did a little bit extra the extra more reps um of each instead of doing 12 of everything i did 20 of everything at the end and with the walking resistance band i did go a little bit more i did do it a little bit longer and so yeah powering through at the end of your workouts is really going to be even more beneficial thank you guys so much for watching this video again if you guys like to see any more quad workout videos or anything else because i only mainly work out my quad you know i don't really focus too much on my arms Every now and then I'll throw in a little arm workout, but I'm not focused on my arms as much as I am for my quads. But if you guys want to see any more videos, please leave a comment down below letting me know and I'll totally do it. I'm very passionate about this. I really love working out. It's a good way to relieve stress for me. It's a big stress reliever and it's calming, especially when you have music. Music is the biggest motivation for me. I don't think I could do this without <laughs> listening to music. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, follow me on Instagram because I do post some of my workouts there as well. And also shout out to my sister. She got me all my Gymshark attire that you have to, that you see on me today. She got me even more stuff and I'm just so thankful she's the best sister ever. I literally have the best sister ever. But yeah, she is also a fitness trainer. You guys can check her out at Jada marie fitness and follow her on instagram her workouts are fire like i said she's the one that taught me my rdls and she also taught me courtesy squats so please check out my sister her body is literally goals for me <laughs> but yeah she's a really good instructor and she i love all her workouts thank you guys so much for watching and peace. No, no, no.